to say Welcome to Mystic Meeks. Hope you guys are doing good today. So, I'm filming this way. It's honestly is like my least favorite <laughs> way to film, but it's been so hot and my hair has been like frizzy and just kind of crazy because of the weather. So I'm not gonna be filming my face today, and I don't have my tripod, so I can't film the cards, but. Anyways, today we're gonna see what's next in love. So we're gonna have three options. Let me find options. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be option one. This is the 90, love the 90s cup that I got the other day. This is gonna be option two the forbidden berries and then we'll do option three as this is the back side of no we're not gonna use that never mind option three is gonna be this lighter so option one is the 90s cup option two is the forbidden berries and option three is the lighter so Today we're going to see what is next in love for you, so if you want to pause the video, choose whichever option you feel most called to. I'll see you guys at your pile. Bye! Okay, so option one or this cup. We're going to see what's next in love for you. Okay, so if you guys missed the intro, I'm in my car. I got my tripod and stuff, so that's why we're filming this way. Okay, pile one, what's next in love for you? Okay, some of you are gonna meet someone, or if you're dealing with a past person, this person's gonna like reach out to you or say something to you. Next in love, pile one. Oh, there's a cute fluffy dog. Oh my god, that dog's really cute. It's like a golden retriever, but it's it's white. It has a little bit of white on it, and it's fluffy. Okay, so someone may be thinking that you're cute, or is gonna say that you're cute. <laughs> I feel like someone's gonna try and get your attention. Or some of you may be in like a masculine energy or the males that are watching, maybe you're gonna be trying to get a person's attention. So take it how it resonates. Pile one, what's next in the world? The world. Yeah, I'm picking up like compliments, um, a lot of people looking at you, a lot of people finding you attractive. If you've been waiting for like a specific person to reach out to you, I feel like they are going to say something to you because they're noticing how you're getting like a lot of attention from other suitors. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. You guys are gonna have a lot of options in love if you're single. If you're not single, if you're with someone, this person I feel like is gonna be like showering you with compliments, saying how good you look. Um, there's definitely gonna be more SEX <laughs> or like intimate times. <laughs> we have the hermit in reverse. Yeah, so there's gonna be like people making a move on you or a person making more of a move on you. If you are like the masculine watching, this could be what's next in love for you. Is like you making a move on someone that you really like. Also seeing a red tie or like a red, um, this is reminding me of, I forgot what those, those red bracelets that 
Mexicans wear on their left hand because it's supposed to be like protection or something. Oh, I forgot what that's called, but someone may wear that. So the color red is just going to be really significant. I feel like red has to do with your root chakra, so people are going to find you very sexy, very attractive. I feel for this group, if you're single, there's going to be a lot of people that want to, like, sleep with you or are going to make comments about how good looking you are. You have anxiety, so there also is people, there are people that are going to be, like, nervous to say something to you. Some of you, this has to do with a past person because they're, like, nervous that someone else is going to her take you yeah, I definitely see like a boost of confidence for you guys you guys might also be going through a glow up right now too someone on here a person may even make a song for you or play music yeah we have their coming back or there's gonna be like a poem going to get better so if you feel like your love life isn't very good right now or relationship with your person right now isn't very good like things are about to really improve um i feel like this all starts from like you guys feeling good in your own skin so you may focus on like maybe dressing up nicer doing your makeup every morning or getting your lashes done, going to the gym, like doing things to like make yourself feel good and then people are going to be noticing that and like wanting your attention. Okay, let's make some love, anything else? If you're a male, I see someone growing like a beard and people finding that really attractive. We have retirement. So this may be coming to a point where you kind of give up on love. You're just like, fuck it, I'm going to focus on myself. And that's when you're going to attract in a lot. <laughs> Someone on here could be a social media influencer or have some kind of popularity. And you're going to notice like more comments about how good you look. Dance. Okay, so there could be a ex. You know, an ex that's like watching you, wants to say something to you, will say something to you because they notice that you're getting a lot of attention from other people. And for some of you, this person's like stressing. <laughs> so let's want to see for pile one. Hope that resonates. And now let's go to pile two. Okay, pile two. What's next in love for you? What's next in love? Okay, Ace of Swords reversed. What's next in love? What's next in love? Hearing a festival, someone may be going to a festival or a place with music. Someone's listening to music more, or you will be. Two of Cups. If you are feeling. The fright. There's a squirrel outside my car. What is he doing? That squirrel literally came up to my car and just stared at me. <laughs> okay, so pile two, what's next in love? Okay, three of swords reverse, so overcoming heartbreak. There may, okay, if you had maybe a 
problem i don't know why i want to say an issue with someone you guys weren't talking i see you guys talking again someone opening up to you again i'm also feeling like this rushed energy so some of you may feel rushed to do something or someone's gonna be rushing towards you strength in reverse Two of Pentacles reversed. If you recently broke up with someone or had an ending, I see you guys like getting out of that, but Spirit's saying to like just take your time with it. You don't have to rush into healing. Like make sure you're going through your emotions and not just doing things to like hurry it up, I'm hearing. Okay, probably too. What's next in love? We have cover up. Yeah, so there might be like a deeper rooted issue that you're just not wanting to see. I don't know if this is about within yourself or with another person. There's a lot of weird stuff happening with this pile. Okay, we have emotional trauma. <laughs> yeah, so I feel what's next in love, you guys are gonna have to, Spirit is gonna want you to like really feel your emotions. Even though it might be difficult, Spirit wants you to feel them anyway so you can just heal and move on from this because i feel like there's stuff from your past that you've been holding on to it's been upsetting you for a while and like you're just trying not to think about it or just trying to like overcome it really fast someone's dad could be significant maybe you're gonna be talking to your dad about something also picking up someone on here could be a father. Yeah, if something didn't work out, you guys are gonna be seeing that it was for the greatest good. Like maybe there was conflict that happened with a person because you guys weren't communicating very well. So now like you guys can come back together and communicate well or see each other. Um like see eye for eye on things because there's something about like mismatch like energy if you broke up with someone this is gonna be like next in love is you guys healing from any pain and also realizing that that breakup or I'm hearing divorce was meant to be because you guys are meant for someone who's going to treat you better. 636 six could be an angel number someone's seeing. Also purple and yeah, retirement. You guys are going to be like finally able to relax and not feel so like on edge about things. Someone on here could be a Leo. Or air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Also, if someone like has ghosted you, you're gonna realize that that was spirit, God, whoever protecting you because this person, something about just like toxic ways or like, they wouldn't have, brought you any good we have crash and i love our car rides so hearing third party so maybe this person would have brought you into like a third party situation or something would have been really messy so that's what i'm seeing for pile two hope that resonates and let's go to pile three pile three what's next in love for you I don't know why, I just thought of Britney Spears. Pile 3, what's next in love for you? Whoa, whoa! 
I'm three was saying some love for you. I'm also seeing a wedding, so someone on here, you can literally be getting married or some kind of ring is next for you guys. Seeing like a wedding ceremony though. If there's doves. <laughs> okay, pile three, what's next in love? Or you're gonna meet someone that you may potentially marry. We have four of wands. It's literally like the marriage card. The higher fit. <laughs> okay, so those that are watching, you're about to get into a relationship or a marriage or something for sure. Hearing a long time coming, so it may have taken a while for this to happen. Or you felt like it took forever. <laughs> we have four of pentacles. Snakes nice in love. Okay, I'm also hearing um to make sure that you're not in like a codependent energy, like make sure you don't like depend on this person for everything. Like even your happiness too. Yeah, we have the hermit in reverse. Spirit is gonna want you to like, um, maybe meet up with friends or do things outside of the relationship. Make sure to maintain like healthy boundaries with this person too. The cards keep exploding. Okay, we're gonna use the other deck. Have three, what's next in love? Have three, what's next in love? Some of you, this is gonna happen out of the blue. Like, you meet someone, then all of a sudden you guys are dating. <laughs> and this could be at like a large event too. Maybe even at a wedding. We have wearing a mask. Keep it on low. So I feel like spirit's not gonna really be showing you what's gonna happen next in your love life. It's just gonna happen, I'm hearing. You have spying, so some of you, this could be someone has their eye on you already. That's who's gonna be coming towards you. Also hearing an ex might wanna ruin something that you have with another person, so be cautious of that. You have money involved. Masculine, scared of making changes. For others of you, you could be ending a connection that got really codependent. And there could have been like money issues or like maybe you guys had joint bank accounts or something like that. And this person would like spend the money recklessly. Yeah, lying. So either like you're getting out of a codependent relationship or there is like just a warning from spirit not to be codependent on this partner that's coming in next. Anything else? And there could also be like a, <laughs> a codependent ex that like wants you back or is really jealous of a connection that you're about to get into. There could be a lot going on in your love life. <laughs> yeah, create boundaries, sleepless nights, repeat patterns. Um, it's really one or two of you, but someone's ex is like kind of fucking weird. May want to like watch you, spy on you, especially if they show up at places that you go to. Like this person knows that you're going to go there, so that's why they're going to that place. It's not because it's just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, someone's looking to like sabotage your connection, so... Just don't take any mind to that person. Anything else? Yeah, something about red flags, so just be cautious of a person's red flags. So that's what I'm seeing for pile three. Hope that resonates. Talk to you guys later. Bye.